Hello, everybody. My name is Roger, and I am here with the Application Performance Group 16.3 planning. Overall, in this coming month, we expect our team to be at approximately 85% capacity. Over the last couple of months, the team has been working hard to enable code suggestions for self-managed and dedicated customers. In 16.3, we will continue to iterate on our existing work. Our goal is so that there is no need for self-managed admins to perform any configuration on GitLab SaaS. As part of this effort, we're going to be routing code suggestions for self-managed users through their self-managed Rails monolith, ensuring that the self-managed instance is in the flow of information and flow of control. This work primarily impacts the authentication flow for self-managed instances and is separate from monetization of code suggestions for self-managed. We've conducted several technical explorations on how to approach this problem in 16.2, and our implementation is here in this option one sequence diagram. We've made actually pretty good progress towards a lot of these items, um, but some of these largest items around authentication are still to come, and we expect to wrap them in 16.3. We have two stretch goals. One is to improve code suggestion metrics for self-managed instances. Currently, we don't have any way of measuring users directly because right now users on SaaS, sorry, we don't have any way of measuring self-managed users directly. Users on SaaS are currently being directly compared to instances on self-managed. Separating out self-managed data will help reduce confusion overall and also set up foundations for us to perform more self-managed specific analysis and in the long run, support our efforts to shift towards an organization-based model, especially for insights and analytics. The second stretch goal here is to support the cross-group effort for code suggestions to be GA-ready with 16.3's release. We should validate whether self-managed can meet those timelines and do our best to support. Given the delayed timeline for customer upgrades, you know, each time we release a self-managed version, most customers are usually one to three months behind. We may descope a number of backlog items as a fast follow. Thanks.